rope is filthy. What are you doing with the climbing rope? Nothing, just moving it. Unrelated, do you know how to tie a noose? Why would I know how to do that? You were in the Girl Scouts? Yeah, we learned how to tie knots to go on boats and shit, not hang ourselves. Well, we're just assuming a whole lot today, aren't we? Hey guys, what's going on? Why is the rope in here? She was just asking me how to tie a noose. And like, did you help her? Should I? Nicole, are you really trying to kill yourself again? Yeah, no? Uh, pick your favorite answer out of those. Why would you help her tie a noose? I didn't! Oh my god, I can't right now. What's her problem? What's your problem? We're not even two weeks back yet, and you're trying to hang yourself with the gym rope. Dude, you have no idea what I had to witness this morning. The Jeffrey kid was doing cartoon voices for Mr. Burliday, and the guy just nodded, telling him he had a future in Hollywood. Like he wasn't joking? Yeah, so now he's just encouraged to go up to us talking like Elmo all day. All right, yeah, I get it. But could you hold off on killing yourself for two more weeks? We're still partners on the lab, remember? Oh, that's your motive for keeping me alive. Yeah, sure, no problem. So, will I see you in science today? About that. Why don't we just go out and do something else? Regardless of whatever you say, I'm not showing up to any class with Jeffrey for the rest of the week. I exerted all that energy to keep you alive and you're still not gonna go? You can come with me if you want. Uh, I'm trying to get into a college after I graduate. Fine, go to science and let Jeffrey do Elmo voice at you. Oh god, where are you even going? This is probably your worst idea yet. What's easier than sitting in the cafeteria? Skipping in school is worse than just actually going to class. There's no TV or alcohol or anything here. Yeah, but is there an ice cream vending machine at home? That shit doesn't even fucking work! No, I think it's working this week. Okay, even if it is, we cut school and eat ice cream all day. What are we, six? I need drugs, Nicole! What, so now if you're six, you can't do drugs anymore? I could be in math right now, staring at the pregnant girl two rows down from me. That would be more entertaining than this. Our school has a pregnant girl? Do I know her? Well, if you haven't seen a kid walking around looking seven months pregnant, then I'm guessing no. Does she have a camera crew from one of those reality shows? No, I don't even think she speaks English. She's like a Salvadorian transfer kid. It's gotta be so weird to be pregnant in school. Oh, all the guys are so mean about it too. They call her Juno to her face. Like, can't you just fuck off and stare at her like a normal person? See, this is gossip. We're having fun. I guess. No fat, balding piece of shit in a polo shirt telling us all oh, wait. Girls, we're on our way to class, right? Fuck. Uh, uh, yeah, we were just getting water for the plants in AP Ecosystems. You're seniors. That class is on the other side of the school. Uh, oh, well, no, the plants are from California, so they only use bottled water. Yeah, and the cafeteria is the closest place with bottled water. I'm going to circle back around in a few minutes, and I hope you'll be off to class by the time I get back. Yeah, of course. No problem. Pedophile. What was that? What the fuck? Oh, no. Pedophile. It's a new slang term. I know it sounds like the other thing, but when we say it, it means cool teacher. Huh. If that's the case, being strict is a part of the job, but it is good to be a pedophile every now and then. Oh my god, yeah. Do totally. I love being a pedophile. There's no way he actually fell for that. Why would he say that if he didn't? What if he's trying to trick us into trying it on someone else? There were no witnesses. He could totally do that. Or what if he's just actually a pedophile and wanted an excuse to say it? So you don't think he fell for it either? No, I'm just saying that's a more likely possibility if he didn't fall for it. How is that more likely? Think about it. Why would a man want to be a public school teacher other than to have sex with the kids? The... That makes no sense. Okay, if you're a man, right? You have way more job options, less annoying jobs, but teaching pays like total shit. Yeah? So why would a guy go to college for one of the worst paying jobs and one of the only jobs where a man can be around minors five days a week? Because they like teaching? Then why not a university where they actually pay? Uh, I don't know. Not all male teachers are ugly. It's not like they don't have options. Exactly. Sex with a regular bitch won't do it for him because they want don't tell your parents ass. It's totally fucked up, I know. Nicole, you need SSRIs really badly. What are you two doing? Shit, run. I go out to check on one staff complaint, and of course, I see students skipping. I think we're safe. Safe? Everyone skips here. They're gonna find us. Everyone does not skip here. This particular girl's bathroom? Yeah, because it's right next to the vending machines and emergency exit. It'll be fine, okay? So what's this about me needing SSRIs? Like, you're cool and everything, but you're just like... Fucked up. 
Ooh, drama. I never knew you guys were dating. What? No, it was something else. What are you guys doing here? Skipping. God damn it. Told you. Maybe you guys could settle a debate for us. Are all male teachers pedophiles? Here? 100% yes. All of them? No way. Kelly, you've never been hit on by a male teacher. Not really. You totally have, Kelly. You're just too dumb to notice it. Bullshit. Remember when you wore a low-cut shirt and the teacher stood over your shoulder for every single math problem? He was just being hopeful. Yeah, then I raised my hand in a sweater. Did he come over? No. See? I never said you were wrong. I just think you're insane for having a blueprint on it. So you guys want to buy some Addies? Are you serious? I told you the other bathroom's better. Are you guys here to buy Adderall? No, we're just getting out of a quiz. Then get the hell out. Tell that to the other girls. They don't have a quiz to skip. We were here first. Yeah, and you guys probably won't even buy Addies or anything. Are you? Well, no, but I know what they won't either. Is anyone here actually gonna buy Addies? Let them all know we're here. How much? Twelve a bean. Twelve a pill? Supply and demand, Craven Simone. We gotta pick a new hiding spot. Emily's out of her mind if she thinks she can sell at those prices. Mad you can't afford it? Please, I have three in my Ziploc. I'm fine. Yo, guys, what's good? What are you doing here? Not going to class. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, I'm using my PSP to look at porn on the school's Wi-Fi. You can't just wait till you get home? Just to say I did it, you know. And you can't even talk. You both get fucked up in the middle of class. That could wait till you're home. You do too. You pop perks in front of the teacher. Yeah, that's because I have an actual medical condition, okay? You guys didn't bust your knee up playing lacrosse. Wait, no, if we're all getting fucked up in class, they cancel each other out. Yeah, so you still need to answer why you're looking at titty pics on your Game Boy. It's a PSP, dumbass. Why are you looking at titty pics on your Fisher-Price Blackberry? Yeah, that's a better name for it. Makes it sound official. You have a busy schedule? Yeah, busy telling bitches like you to fuck off. By the way, since we're all skipping, you guys want to, like, fuck around a little bit? You just told us to fuck off, and now you want us to fuck you? You're watching way too much porn if you think that's gonna work. Yeah, we only like being treated like shit when you're creative about it. Yeah, let's see what you got. Shut the fuck up, Jekka, pelican nose ass bitch. My nose is actually perfect. Nice try, though. Yeah, but the way you dress shows you might be insecure and overcompensating for your introverted childhood. Oh my god, see? Now I'm gonna be up all night reading into that. First she'll hate me, then she'll want me. All right, whatever, dude. Tell you what, I'll let you guys have the courtyard, but you gotta pay up in prescriptions, dog. I ran out of Oxy this morning, and I just need something to take the edge off. You called us bitches ten seconds ago, and now you want our drugs? Yeah, bitches need drugs. Can't help ya. Dude, this is so fucking not straight. Come on, I'll throw in five bucks. What the fuck do we do with five bucks? Uh, okay, fine. Seven. I don't even care what you give me. Just help me out. I got a Xanax. It's a pink one. Whatever. It's tiny, but it'll do something, right? You're just gonna have to find out. Can you not be a stuck-up bitch about every single little thing? Why are you complaining? You got your pill. Go! Fine, bitches. I wanna listen to Coldplay on my iPod. And Coldplay isn't gay, either. What is wrong with him? I don't know, but I'm really mad we got kicked out of the cafeteria now. Why? I want ice cream, and the vending machine's too far away now. Why did I decide to skip in school? We could've done something cooler than this. I still got the Addies in my Ziploc. I would, but I just gave my last Xanax. If I don't take the Adderall with something to mellow me out, I'm gonna be grinding my teeth all day. Have you tried weed with it? Marijuana's for people who talk like ninja turtles. Girls, we're not talking about illicit activities, are we? No. Is getting fucked up an illicit activity? But yeah, so what's up? I should ask you the same. Class is in session, but you're in the courtyard. Oh yeah, we have a truncated schedule. Really now? I haven't been made aware of this. Yeah, they gave us one because we have issues. And just to be clear, what exactly does truncated mean? Like the definition? Yes. It's, uh, well, our next period back is English, so we could tell you then. Such a shame you girls get into so much trouble with bright futures ahead of yourselves. Come with me. Why do you always say it like that? Let me try something a little different here. Do you girls have thoughts and feelings for one another? Uh, I think Jekka's kind of spoiled. And I feel like Nicole's a bitch. Not quite what I was looking for. It seems that almost every time either of you are in trouble, you're always together. Is there something between the two of you that you may not realize? What does any of that even mean? He's asking if we're lesbians. Oh, you just love that, wouldn't you? Now please, there's no need for contextual assumption. We could say the same to you. Be mindful of your venomous commentary. 
In my professional opinion, I believe it would be helpful for the both of you to trial some sort of affection to clear the tension between you. Trial affection? Are you telling us to make out in front of you? No, I'm asking you to physically express how you feel about one another in the safety of this judgment-free room. Okay, fine. Pat on the back. Good job, champ. Can we go now? Nicole, will you please refrain from being intellectually and emotionally dishonest? What does any of that mean? Dude, this is an American pie. You can't just get hot girls to tongue kiss in front of you. Yeah, you at least have to pay us. I'm afraid you're only hurting yourselves in fighting this exercise. Who the fuck lets you work here? Hope I'm not interrupting anything serious. No, this is pretty fucking serious. Uh, what can I help you with, Principal? If I could borrow your help for a moment, there's a student entirely passed out in the hallway. Uh, oh, oh my. Of course I could help. Who is it? It's Kyler. I, I found him out on the floor, unconscious. I know CPR. I remember my first Xanax. But you gave him a pink one. Aren't those tiny? Yeah, but if he's never done it before, it hits really hard. He's like six feet tall. You wouldn't pass out over a pink Xanax, Nicole. Am I a doctor now? I'm like a backpack pharmacist at best. How would I know? What if you found a Percocet and took them both? Can that kill you? I think we should ask. Uh, hold on, guys. I forgot my big gulp jug. Hey, do you know how Kyler passed out? Is he a friend of yours? Not really. Um, he's like my boyfriend. Sorry, girls, but we can only divulge medical information with family members. Family? He's my brother. You said he was your boyfriend. Can he not be both? He shouldn't be both. Will you stop judging her Swedish heritage and just tell us? So, essentially, his body shut down to the point where his lungs are barely functioning. If we didn't get him sooner, he could have lost a lot of brain cells. I didn't know five was a lot. But do you know exactly what caused it? We won't know anything until we get him to the hospital for a toxicology report. Since you're family, would you like to ride along in the ambulance with us? This must be very hard for you. Nah, it's okay. I don't care that much. Um, okay, so if that's it, I have very pressing matters to tend to. Where is my big gulp jug? Are they just gonna wait for him to get that? Yeah, I see Kyler in the back there. They're not driving off. You don't think they can, like, stomach pump the pills and find fingerprints on them, right? No way. I don't think so. Cool. Yeah, I don't care if he dies. I just don't want to be held responsible. Yeah, same. Do you think we should go to class now so this doesn't look suspicious? Yeah, we should change too to screw up his story if he tries snitching on us. Good call. Where are you going? We gotta get our stories straight. I wonder what the guy from Cody Banks is doing right now. Oh, hey Nicole. You over here too? Oh, great. Yeah, I just like... I couldn't even handle whatever was going on in class and stuff, and I just had to break loose from it all, you know? Like, I don't know, these teachers are just crazy sometimes. That was the longest possible way to say you're also skipping. Oh, no, like, yeah, um... Hey, I like your shirt. Okay. It looks kind of deep. Is there, like, any sort of meaning behind it? Dude, how the fuck should I know? You picked it out, I thought, you know? I go to the store, it looks nice, I buy it, and not for an artistic conversation with someone dressed like a bad religion fan. Oh, well, hold up. I'm not really, like, a bad religion fan. I only like maybe, like, four of their albums. I'm real happy for you. Yeah, but, I mean, it's cool that you know about them. You like a lot of rock? That was the most weekend dad question you could have possibly asked me. What's that mean, exactly? What's going on out here? Torture. Oh, hey, Megan, what's up? I'm just on my way back from the bathroom. Oh, yeah, cool. I like your shirt, by the way. Oh, thanks. Yeah. No, it's like mega fucking cool. Is there like a thing with it? Like a story? Actually, there kind of is. It's, um, well, I don't want to waste your time. No, no, I, I got time. I'm hanging out. Dumb fucking bitch. So it was custom made, and it was basically a whole story on my journey with, like, finding myself. They should make a game show where a guy eats everything in a vending machine. Aww. And if he loses, he's got to, like... Take his shirt off at the pool or something. I'm so dead. Then there's a bunch of hot girls in the pool laughing at his imperfections. I can't. What do I do? Okay, Ari. What is it? Wait, what? I didn't... Bitch, do not play this game with me. What game? I was just sitting here talking... Shut the fuck up. What is it? Okay, well, I'm supposed to be in physics right now, but there's this project due and I have literally nothing. Yeah, so... Wait, this doesn't make sense. What doesn't? If you cared about the class this much, wouldn't you have done at least some of it? It's not the grade. The teacher's just gonna, like, yell at me in front of everybody. They do it because they care. Not because they're paid shitty and weren't smart enough to work at a university. You think their salary determines how smart they are? 
Isn't it just a number on paper? They think our grades determine how smart we are. Let's see how the fuck they like it. Okay, but that doesn't solve my problem. I've been here for the last 10 minutes and I can't think of any good excuse. Is it like a two-day project or a three-week project? Closer to three weeks. Huh, what's a problem that lasts more than three weeks? Could you pass for pregnant? I hope not. What works for me usually is saying I have depression, but you can't use that. Why not? Because I use that. If too many kids start saying it, it won't work anymore. All right, I'm just gonna go to class and get yelled at. This sucks. Or you could drop out and live in a methadone clinic. How would I pitch a game show to Spike TV? You there, hold it! Here we go. Wait. Oh, how could you run this fast? Don't make me call security! Hey, you dropped something. Whoa, that is a shit ton of cocaine. I wonder if it's real. You just wait till I call your parents. Shit, she's coming back. Nicole? Hey, Miss Lynn. Rough day at work? What's going on with Braxton? None of your business. Why aren't you in class? Oh, uh, I was just on my way to the bathroom. You came all the way out to the main foyer on the way to the bathroom? What, do we need bathroom GPS now? Tell me what class you're in right now. Civics? It's okay, I'm going now. Don't worry. I'll walk with you. No, that's okay. You don't have to. I insist. Wow, you can ask me out after? On a date? Why would I do that? Wait, you're not a guy teacher. Sorry, let's go. And as I hope you remembered, today is the final day for submitting your community service sponsor. If you don't get those hours in, you cannot graduate. Oh my god. Nicole, so nice of you to join us. I tell you to kill yourself in your garage, but you probably only have a two-bedroom condo with your pets. <laughs> I'll pretend I didn't hear that. I trust the rest of you will be taking the community service hours seriously. I guess. You guess? Kelly, who's your sponsor? I'm volunteering for the county police department. Wow, that's lame. Something you'd like to add, Nicole? Yeah, why would you help the people who screw us over with speeding tickets? The office is really close to my house. I don't have to drive or anything. So you're gonna fuck the rest of us over just so you can save on gas money? What did I say about the F word in this class? Sorry, bitch. Are we just supposed to drive as fast as we want? The police are here to keep us safe. Is that why I take it's $200? They're keeping my safe? Holy shit. Huh. Funny that a girl so critical of our legal system is failing civics. Funny how you teach the most expensive car you could ever afford. <laughs> All right, Nicole. If you're so in tune with the needs of the people, how about your cause? My what? Your cause? Your sponsor for the community service hours? You've had two weeks to set something up. Now tell me with who. It's a... Uh, it's like a non-profit. A non-profit what? A non-profit charity. A non-profit charity for what? A cause. You wanted it for a cause, right? What is the cause? A healthy cause, so people are healthy. And how do they make them healthy? Medicine. So, pharmaceuticals. What's the name of this pharmaceutical non-profit? Ooh, gotta get back to you on that one. You signed up for a charity and don't even know the name of it? It was kind of long. I don't have it in front of me. But it was definitely a charity and definitely for medication to the underprivileged. Where is it? Bitch, no one asked you. I was asking. You're aware you'll need to fill out a form with the location of this charity, right? Just so we know it's not made up. Yeah, totally. I'll get all that for you next class. It was due today. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Is the charity going to disappear because I didn't get it in on time? If you're fine with your grade taking a 10% hit, then be my guest. My policy on all late work. Dude, you need to stop watching C-SPAN. How did you know what I watch at lunch? You just seem like a rules fan. I hope everyone here is a rules fan. This is civics. If rules did anything, wouldn't rape and murder stop happening? It stops most of it. Okay, let's tell all the rape and murder victims that. I'm sure it'll make them feel better. Get your charity in next class and hope I don't fail you for the year. God failed you for your entire life. <laughs> So then my mom's like, he's too old to date you. And I just ask, are you going to buy me alcohol at one in the morning? Exactly. Like, I thought you were supposed to look out for me, mom. If you don't give me what I want, I'll find someone who will. Dude, totally. We turned 15 and they're entirely clueless to our needs. And getting locked in this bitch eight hours a day means I need the edge off. Is everyone's mom a bitch or is it just us? Uh, Jekka hates her mom, so I guess everyone. Where is Jekka? Probably doing something dumb as shit, like school. Hey guys, what's good? Hi. Why do you always come up to us at lunch? Will you shut the fuck up and let me talk? 
by then. No, no, all right. I just wanted to know if you knew people setting up the county's worship festival next weekend. County's worship festival? Is that like Jesus and shit? Do we look like the type of girls who would go to church? No, it's not like super religious. It's just like a county fair. So what do you want to know? Okay, there's this really hot girl on the organizing committee and I need to get on it. So if you know any religious people, just tell them I want to join. Do we look like the type of girls who know girls who go to church? Who's the girl? I can't tell you that. You might try to ruin it. All of this sounds like an excuse to come up and talk to us. Yeah, are you lonely? What? No. All right, whores. Fuck you then. I think he was lonely. Like, we would even know people who set up church functions. I barely know people at this school in general anymore. Did your friends transfer? No. I always hook up with my friends' boyfriends, so they don't want to talk anymore. Oh, that's why we get along. You have a cheating thing, too? Uh, no. I've just never liked a guy enough to the point of calling him my boyfriend. But good to know you're into that. I'm like a charity for guys sick of their girlfriends. Charity? Fuck, I still have to do that. Do what? I made up a fake pharmaceutical charity for civics, and now I gotta either find a real one or just make up better lies for the fake one. Both sound like a lot of effort. No kidding. Or you could start your own charity, then you're not lying. That sounds like more work than both options put together. Fuck no. You think people actually work at those charity things? They just vacate in Florida and write it off as a conference. How would you know? My fucking piece of shit dad who I want to kill works for a charity business. Is there... Okay, we want to explore that one. No, but that's actually a good idea. Yeah. Oh, and did you hear about Braxton? He tried selling a brick in school. No, I had no idea. To who? Probably a teacher with a coke problem, because I don't know any kid who could afford that. Where would he even... Hey, if it isn't my favorite gym students! We never dressed out when we did it. How are we your favorite students? Uh, I know what you're doing. You want to stay looking nice for your favorite gym teacher. Why would we care about that? I hear how you girls talk about older men, and quite frankly, I support it. You want to say that in front of the principal? Yeah, and it's older men, not ancient men. Yeah, we'll see about that when you're looking for an expensive good time. (laughs) How many times this month has he tried asking us out? Three. But yeah, where would Braxton even get a brick of coke? I think his friend's cousin's in MS-13. Oh, shit. What's wrong? Nothing. It's probably no big deal. Everyone's a little dry from PG County. You going to class? Nah, I'm going home. It's 11.30. Been here long enough. Okay, so I need a charity, a way to ditch this fat-ass brick, and money in general. Let's see. I can't just sell the coke, because then they'll go looking for me. I can never kill two birds with one stone. God, this shit feels so good on my gums, too. I try it for real, but I don't know if it'd mix well with my mom's Vicodin. How is this a prescription med? It feels as good as the street drug... I got it. Where's my laptop? How would I word this? How to free base. Now I'm told if you didn't get your community service causes in last time, you better have them today. Oh, fuck! Excuse me. (laughs) Hey, oh, where's Mr. Katz? Today I'm filling in for Mr. Katz as he had a medical issue he needed to take care of. So I had another two days to think of a charity? God damn it. You think because I'm subbing today, I won't enforce your teacher's deadlines? Don't forget, I'm your principal. Oh my. And speaking of deadlines, Mr. Katz took extra care to remind me of your assignment in particular, Nicole. It's your last day to submit or you failed this class for the year. So what do you have for me? Uh, I have my charity. (gasps) What charity might that be? I was told it had to do with pharmaceuticals, so let's not stray too far from any prior narrative. Yeah, whatever. The name of my charity is Medicine Rocks. Medicine Rocks? Yeah, it's a charity that helps get prescription drugs to the underprivileged in PG County. Why haven't I heard of this charity? I don't know, PG County's far? Not that far. Well, they're really underfunded, so they can't get the word out. Wanted to volunteer for something that could actually use some help. What's that supposed to mean? Bitch, you know what the fuck it means. (laughs) Girls, girls! uh, I'll have to look them up sometime then. They'd have a website, wouldn't they? No, they don't really have anything on the internet because they're underfunded and underprivileged. Not everyone has the technology us well-funded whites do, Miss Lynn. What do you mean by that? If you Google them, you're racist. (gasps) She got you there. Hush! Well, I have to say I'm pleasantly surprised with you, Nicole. Here's your hour sheet. You'll need 25 hours in the next six weeks. With signatures. Yeah, okay. We operate under the honor system. But don't think I won't keep my eye on you. Oh, I'm wet. What was that? Nothing. Hey, let's see you fail one of these other losers. Anyone else have a charity for me? 
Dude, I've been looking everywhere for you. Since when do you take elective gym? It's the easiest class ever. You just be skinny and get an A. And get sexually harassed by the gym coach. No, he doesn't do that for the seniors. He thinks we're old enough to tell our parents or something. Ew, I wouldn't tell my parents at any age. Yeah, that's like way too embarrassing. Imagine telling your mom a 50-year-old man wants to eat a Lunchable out of your cleavage. Exactly. Parents and sex are two entirely different worlds. Unless you're in Arkansas. The only way I tell is for a pity dinner at Red Lobster. High bar. So what do you want? Oh yeah, I have a project I need help with. Nicole, that MySpace girl isn't even fun to bully anymore. No, not that. Another project. Project for what? For school. Since when the fuck do you do any project for school? Since I got a really awesome idea for it, but I need you to bring some stuff over to my house. <sighs> Okay, what is it? I need baking soda, a Zippo lighter, some really tiny Ziplocs, and one of your parents' serving spoons. Are you in chemistry now? No, civics. Where the hell am I gonna get really tiny Ziplocs? Is your mom in a jewelry? She would have those lying around. Okay, so Ziplocs, serving spoon, lighter, what else? Baking soda, a whole box of it. Baking soda. Okay, I'll see you after school. Thanks, I'll explain later. How long is it gonna take to find this shit? <laughs> Hey, sweet cheeks, you got a minute? Miss Lynn said you're not allowed in the girls' locker room. She don't need to know. Hey, quick question for you. What? Are you familiar with Lunchables Chicken Shakeups? Thanks for coming. I know it was super short notice. Yeah, so what do you need all this shit for? Okay, don't freak out. You found it? Was this yours or something? No, there's a rumor going around that some gang kid lost a huge thing of coke at our school. That Braxton kid just ditched it in front of me while running from school security. And you didn't think, oh, that's a lot of illegal drugs, maybe more trouble than they're worth. Since when are we afraid of the law? I'm not talking about the law, I'm talking about MS-13's name on the side of the fucking bag. They're gonna kill you if they find out. How do you know who MS-13 is? One of my friend's cousins was in MS-13. I guess everyone's friend's cousin's in MS-13. Now, and no way it's MS-13. Why would a gang put their name on their drugs? What if it was supposed to be delivered to them? What shitty ass drug dealer would keep their customers' names in writing? A really fucking stupid one? Isn't stupid enough to bring this to a public school? All right, don't worry about it. They won't even know we had it when we're finished. Finished with what? You brought the supplies, right? Yeah, for... You brought me here to cook crack? Yeah, what else is baking soda for? I don't know, baking? Dude, why are you freaking out? We've had drugs before. Yeah, perks and robo, not go to jail drugs. Okay, just let me borrow your stuff. I need the community service hours. What does making crack do for the community? Nothing. Selling crack's another story. We live in cul-de-sacs. Who's gonna buy this? I'm not selling it here. Oh my god, this is gonna ruin my parents' serving spoon. Just buy another one. It's from Tiffany! Why would you bring a Tiffany serving spoon to make crack? You never told me what it was for! Look, calm down. This will take like an hour at most. I think we're getting the hang of this. We filled so many baggies. But how do we know if it's good? The guy on the internet said if you break one of the little shards, it should give a really nice snap. That was bad. Try another one. Oh, it worked. So it's good enough. God, my gums are so numb from rubbing this shit. It's good, right? Oh my god, yeah. I want to try coke for real, but I feel like I'd kill someone on it. Oh. I just don't want to OD, but good to know your potential. All right, the whole room smells like burnt plastic, so I think we made enough today. My parents are going to be so mad when they see this spoon. Just leave it here. It's better lost than ruined. That's true. Okay, I gotta go to PG County now. Can you give me a ride? I'm not driving to PG County, Nicole. What if my car gets stolen? Oh, so you'll freebase crack but won't drive through a black neighborhood? What are you, Ronald Reagan? I helped you with your community service project. You won't guilt me into anything. Okay, just drive me to the Franconia station. I'll take the metro. Fine, but I'm not driving you back. No problem. I'll have plenty for a cab when I'm done. Should have looked up how to actually sell drugs before I came out here. Hey, what's up? Hey, what you got? You wanna buy some crack? Whoa! Damn, he did sound like a cop, huh? Hey, Mo. What you need? What you got? I got rocks, bricks, white Legos. Uh, uh, how much? Hundred for the baggie. Uh, uh, here you go. Thanks. Oh, one more thing. What? Could you sign my community service hour sheet? I'll give you an extra rock. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, just any fake name, it's fine. I pee. A hundred bucks and a two-hour signature. I think this is gonna work out. Cool. Now that I've called roll, I just wanted to apologize for my absence. 
I know you've all been working very hard on your community service assignment. Has everything been okay? Not to get too far into detail, but I've been having some personal health issues arise and have needed time away from my teaching duties. Oh, well, we hope you're all right. I don't give a shit. Here. Oh, is attendance over? Sorry. So nice of you to join us. Late as always. Fuck you. You've been gone the last three classes. (laughs) He had a medical issue. Yeah, I do too. It's called liking post-rock. No one rolls out the red carpet for me. Just have a seat, Nicole. You can have this dick, bitch. (laughs) Dude, why are you freaking out? All right, Nicole. You act like you own the place, so I assume you're a top of the class in community hours? I might be. Pull out your sheet then. Let's see what our star student has for us. Yeah, sure. Here you go. Of course. As I expected, you... Wait, how many is this? I don't know. Let's count. 16, 18, 22 hours. I only have three. All the signatures are different. Different ink used every time. It's only been a week and a half and you're 90% done. (gasps) I'm kind of awesome like that. I'm shockingly surprised, Nicole. Good to see you really took the initiative for getting these hours. And aside from just the hours, I'm really building a reputation in the community. Anytime someone's in need, they know who to call. Quite the turnaround indeed. All right, who else has their sheets to show? Nah. What do you mean, nah? Why not? It's gay. (laughs) Excuse me? What does helping the community have to do with one's sexuality? Uh, it has to do with it's gay. (laughs) You think that way now, but go above and beyond for this. Get 50 hours. You'll get a framed certificate from the National Honor Society. Why would anyone want that? It means you really made a difference in life. For years, you can hold on to it, show it to your grandkids one day. Who would do that? Yeah, imagine you're 80 and you haven't accomplished anything beyond a community service hour sheet. (laughs) All right, all right. Who else has a sheet for me? Nicole, I'm busy. What is it? Oh, good, so I can leave? No, why were you sent here? One of the security people said I was violating the dress code. Well, it looks like there's a gun on your sweatshirt, so yes. Take it off. I I don't really have anything under this. Then turn it inside out and get back to class. Ew, how do I turn a hoodie inside out? It's gonna be weird and itchy. You really don't have anything on under that? Like a sport bra? Well, we can't just have you in that. Are you sure? I think your gym teacher would love it. Please, Nicole, I'm dealing with enough as it is right now. What's the big deal over a drawing of a gun on my hoodie? Have you already forgotten Virginia Tech? Oh, so some Asian guy shoots up a school and now we can't wear cool hoodies anymore? It could promote the wrong message. Who's gonna think I would shoot up a school? He was only a mass shooter because he's weird and ugly. I'm kind of the opposite of that. All right, fine. Wear it for the rest of the day, but don't bring it to school again. Whatever. Oh, oh, one more thing. I almost forgot. What? I've been told of your quick turnaround in civics. Congratulations on your hours. Oh, yeah, don't mention it. A night and day difference in no time at all, really. Where'd you find the motivation for it? Uh, I don't know. The community, I guess. The community? You love the people that much now? Yeah. Look me in the eye and say that. What are you, my dom? Is there something you'd like to tell me, Nicole? Can I tell you to fuck off? You're free to go. I'll be watching. Yeah, right. Oh, hey, Nicole. What's up? What's good? Yeah. Cool. So, I I just wanted to ask if you were busy this weekend. Fucking why? I got to do a video for a class project and was kind of wondering if you could be in it. Why can't you ask the other 30 people who take the class with you? Yeah, um, it's like, I don't know. I feel like they're going to flake on me. And a girl who doesn't take the class, doesn't even like you, she's gonna come through. You don't like me? I hate you. <laughs> Dude, like, quit like, you're always kidding around and stuff. You're crazy though, it's cool. I'm not laughing. No girl randomly recruited for your class video will ever want to fuck you. Whoa, whoa, quit jumping around and shit. What's the end game then? You're gonna awkwardly go up to a girl just to be friends? Well, I mean... Friends kind of have a lot of definitions to it. Is there a definition where you blow your brains out with a shotgun while I sit and watch? <laughs> what the fuck? Why would you do that? What else are friends for? So, are, are you waiting for somebody? Yeah, and she wouldn't want to fuck you either. Bro, you're acting wild. How can you even say something like that? Hey, sorry, I got held up in math. Jekka, would you fuck Crispin? Ew, no! See, no one wants to fuck you. You guys are just... <laughs> Man, you guys are wild. Fuck off and leave! <laughs> okay, I'll see you around, guys. What the fuck are you talking to him for? Dude, I don't know. I was alone and he came up to me. You know they get brave when we're alone. What was the holdup? I was flirting with my teacher. 
For business or pleasure? He's 50. What do you think? I was trying to get an A-. minus. Cool, yeah. I might finish with an A for the year in civics at the rate I'm going. He bought it? He doesn't have to buy anything. They're real signatures. I'm amazed you haven't been killed yet. Oh my god, if you just keep to yourself, no neighborhood's all that dangerous. You're not keeping to yourself. You're selling crack. Yeah, and PG loves me for it, so there's no reason to kill me. Okay, we'll see. Dude, you're such a hater. You sound like Bitch Lynn right now. What Bitch Lynn do this time? I got called in over my Bay hoodie, and then she got all on my ass over doing well in civics. Why wouldn't she be happy about that? She thinks I'm cheating by not actually doing community service. It's like suspicious or whatever. You're not actually doing community service? Yeah, I am. You're selling drugs in PG County. How does that help their community? I have really good prices. Giving pregnant women two-for-ones on crack rocks doesn't benefit the country. Oh, what? So now pregnant women have less rights than the rest of us? No. Okay, do whatever the fuck you want. That's what I planned on. You want to come with me tonight? I'd rather date my ugly math teacher. How would you rather do that? Because if the police show up, I won't be the one getting arrested. Man, I was going to cut you in and everything. All right, then suit yourself. Uh, so you in school or... Yeah, that's what the hour sheet's for. After tonight, I'll probably be all done. Cool, cool. Yeah, I thought you got out to prison or some shit. Right? But no, I'm too white and pretty to go to jail. Hey, the fuck, bitch? You wild saying that shit. You wild. You anything. What, do you want me to lie? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Uh-huh. Well, I got packs to move, so if you could... Nah, yeah. I'll see you some other time with it. Damn, Crocs gotta be awesome if it has this many repeat customers. Is this a cop? Hey, if you're a cop, do you have to tell me that you're a cop? White guy buying rocks in PG? Yeah, you're definitely a cop. I'm not a cop. Wait, you sound familiar. Is that Mr. Katz? Keep your voice down. Did Miss Lynn send you to spy on me? No, just take the money and let me leave with it. Holy fuck, you weren't missing class because you're sick. You're a crackhead. I said keep it down. I mean, if you want to buy, no problem. But are you allowed to sign my hour sheet? This was your charity? Yeah, I sell shit for cheap. I'm the great white hope of PG County. I thought it was a pharmaceutical charity. Medicine rocks? Yeah, as in crack rocks, duh. That's downright evil. Wait till I tell the school board you're cheating on your hours. Wait till I tell the school board you're buying Ready Rock off one of your students. Fine. We'll both keep our mouths shut. Now give me the stuff. Done deal. Here you go. Freeze! Huh? Oh, shit. A little midnight marketplace here? How'd you let the cops tell you? Actually, sweetheart, the cops tailed you. We got a tip from a school principal across the Potomac. Shit! We got a runner! What the fuck? Uh, now we gotta call in a body bag. Did you just kill my civics teacher? It was a calculated risk, but it paid off. Dude, just shoot me, too. I can't fucking handle this shit. Nonsense. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be held against you. In the... You waited two weeks to visit me? Okay, if you're gonna be a bitch about it, I can go now. No, I'm so bored in here. Don't go. That's what I thought. So how's jail? I've been trying to kill myself every day for the last two weeks, but there's, like, no options. It's not the loony bit, and there's no options at all. Oh my god, there's no sleeping pills, no sharp objects, the sheets rip easily, and the guards walk by every hour so you can't even bleed out with the razor blades. Wait, how long are you even serving? The public defender was like three years with good behavior. You're trying to kill yourself over three years? I only came here because I thought you'd be in for 20. Two weeks in here feels like 20. There's only one TV in the whole block, and all it plays is UPN reruns. And that's not even around anymore. Yeah, so I'm going insane. They lock you in here to turn your brain into mush. Fucking every night you try going to bed, you just hear weird echoey moans in the distance. Why are they moaning? I don't know. You can't tell whether they're having sex or withdrawing from heroin. Wow, sounds kind of like torture. But I guess that's how the system works to make you not sell crack anymore. It's a broken ass system. They just assume we hustle for fun. Well, yeah, I mean, aren't there other things you can do besides selling drugs? Not for us. You're born into bullshit, no tools to get out of it, and they still want to act like it's your fault. They want to act like you want to be in jail, like you didn't know the consequence. No shit I knew, but it's either suffer out there or suffer in here. And when you get out, it's even more bullshit. P.O., ankle monitor, drug tests, felony record. It's almost like you had less problems on the inside. The system's educational for everyone but the prisoner. This is a maze and we're the rats. But most days you'd rather die than get to the finish. Now all I think about is dying.
I guess the 50 was right. Right about what? It's get rich or die trying. I did what I had to. You're white. What? You're white, Nicole. You didn't have to do anything. That's what you think. What I know is we live in cul-de-sacs, and you don't have to sell crack when you live in a cul-de-sac. I didn't even totally mean financially. Like, my parents were mean to me and shit. It, like, makes you make bad decisions. You sold crack to a pregnant woman because your mom was mean to you? Yeah, sort of. So all you did was take your little problems and turn them into someone else's bigger problems. They weren't little to me. You better turn Islamic and pray the judge agrees with that. Can white people be Islam? I don't know. Look, I gotta go. I'll see you next week, maybe. Oh, wait. No, no. Don't go. I always thought I had a bad memory until I spent two years in jail. No one has a bad memory. Some are just more distracted than others. And aside from really cool fights breaking out, there aren't a ton of distractions in jail. I haven't had a visitor in 16 months. You go by months when you're locked in here. And you're left with your thoughts as your only entertainment. See, I went in rolling my eyes, oh yeah, I'll learn. But they eventually break you down into this lame self-reflection no matter how hard you fight it. But there's no psychologist in here. No therapists in here. No nothing. So yeah, I feel like I've changed, but what if I'm getting worse? Every now and then I'm reminded what Jekka was trying to say last time she visited me. Every new inmate story kind of paints the picture. One had to feed their kids. Another was forced in a gang. Some girl had to kill her husband. All I wanted to do was fill out an hour sheet. So compared to everyone else, I guess it was kind of messed up in the long run. Maybe that's my lesson. Two years ago, I never would have considered I'm wrong. I really have changed. Now to just serve my time, get back in society, maybe make some new friends, and buy a gun to murder my fucking principal with. I'd shoot her in the legs first, watch her cry for mercy before I finish her off. Change feels pretty good.